Hey there, happy Black History Month. Well, almost. I got a little excited, so I started a little bit early. Here in the US, we dedicate the month of February to celebrating the amazing achievements black folks have made and continue to make to history. And one of my favorite people to honor is my amazing Grandma Vi, through my dad's favorite pastime. Cooking. <laughs> yes. Today we'll be making one of my mom's favorite recipes, black eyed peas. Oh, yum. <laughs> I cannot remember a single family celebration without them. Mm-hmm. You know, black eyed peas have always had a spiritual meaning, going way back that comes from many African cultures that brought them here. Is that why we call it soul food? Because it's so good for the soul. <laughs> no, not exactly. They call it soul food because in the 1960s, soul was a word commonly used to describe African American culture. But I think I like your definition better. <laughs> soul food represents family coming together as a community and just a whole lot of love. And, you know, it is delicious. Oh, yes, so bomb. <laughs> yeah, so atomic bomb. <laughs> Shall we get started? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So for this recipe, you'll need one pound of dried peas, one diced onion, a ham hock, some salt, some cayenne pepper, and any herbs of your choice. Personally, I like thyme because you can never have enough time in your life. Oh, <laughs> Dad, that was so bad. Please, no more dad jokes. All right, all right, no more dad jokes. First, soak your peas overnight. Then make a stock by cooking the onion, ham hock, salt and hot pepper, and the herbs in a big pot of water for about 15 minutes. Now, if you don't have ham hock, you can use bacon or any other salted meat. Then add the peas and cook for about an hour. Oh, Granny Vi always uses just a touch of molasses just to give it a little more flavor. Oh, that's right, baby girl. The recipe may have roots back hundreds of years, but you can still make it your own. That's what keeps old recipes like this alive. So black eyed peas are such a classic Southern food, but Granny Vi was born in Harlem. How did this recipe make it to New York? That's a good question. You know, Granny Vi has roots in South Carolina. Our ancestors brought black eyed peas with them when they were brought there as enslaved people from West Africa. Then during the Great Migration in the 1920s, many black families came north to start a new life. While many connections to their African culture have already been taken from them, food was one of the few traditions that we're able to hold on to, largely by oral tradition. You know, when I was a little boy, your Granny Vi would talk me through the recipe every time she made it. You know, the same way I pass it on to you. And now, to everyone at home. Until you just said that, I didn't realize how something as simple as a family recipe could have so much meaning. It makes me want to learn more about our food traditions and the history of how they got here. Celebrating Black History Month is a great way to start. And so is eating this. Mm, this is my favorite part. Mm. <laughs> me too. Mm, thank you, Granny Bye. <laughs> mm. Mm, to learn more about Black History Month. Mm. And find more recipes. <laughs> check out all the resources online. But until then, we got to eat. Happy, Happy Black, Black History, History Month. Month. Mm -hmm.